pretty heavily strapped up now. Anyway, we're underway. Pino in the white, Jodogi Cantoni in blue. quickly from that failed Seonagi attempt to an attempt to draw Cantoni into some Nivaza. That didn't come off. over in that far right corner not a great deal going on both fighters a little bit tentative at the moment bronze medal at stake here Pino couldn't find an opening on the ground. He hadn't had much luck yet. Nothing standing up. Nothing on the ground, and she's picked up one penalty as well. Well, Cantoni joins Pino on the as far as the penalty states are concerned, it's a penalty apiece. getting pulled around a little bit there. Just needs to be a little bit stronger in the grips. Went right-sided with that shoulder throw attempt. Cantoni had already moved a little bit to her right and that made it difficult for Pino to get in there. I don't think she did that deliberately. She was already on the move. Pino couldn't catch up with her. Cantoni has picked up a second penalty with two minutes and ten seconds left on the clock. Another opportunity for Pino to attack on the ground. I haven't really seen her produce anything in Nivaza, so the likelihood is that the referee will call Mate and stand them up. He 
probably thinks the same thing. Still can't get that Ippon Seonagi going. Try to take a left-sided. But again, Cantoni was already on the move in the opposite direction. So ended up looking lame, to be honest. And there's Pino on the ground again, but they're already off the mat and off the contest area. So the referee calls Mate. They're back in the middle with 50 odd seconds left to go. Third penalty now against Cantoni. What a shame for the Italian because there hasn't been a great deal from Pino. She's kept herself busy. The attacks haven't been really threatening. Pino's done enough to stay ahead in the, as far as the penalties are concerned. She just committed fewer errors. That'll be Margot Pino of France to take the bronze medal here.